Hello to all my friends out there. Here we are again. So I better start cooking or this video might take a long time. Okay, so last night I had chicken. And what I usually like to do is I will eat some cheap food. And then when I've had enough, I will eat chicken. So I have one tablespoon of melted butter. And I want to make some um, tuna casserole because I got the really good tuna again. So I'll just sprinkle a little flour. So I hope everyone is doing okay. So for this, all you need is milk, um, butter, flour, tuna, or cheese. This is the same way I make uh, macaroni and cheese. Uh oh, I got too much flour. Rats. I have to take a little bit out. I mean, it would probably still come out fine. Uh oh, I got a little of my uh, butter out too. I just want to cook the raw taste out of my uh, flour. Uh, these, these Teflon um, spatulas actually are for the birds. You know, they're a pain in the neck. I think that's why I wrecked all my, uh, okay, and I have shelf-stable milk. That's why I wrecked all my pans, but I've changed my ways. <laughs> Maybe. So this is so easy to make. And so, you know, um, so what I was doing actually was I had, okay, last month it was a whole bunch of potato meals because I bought 10 pounds of potatoes. So this month I didn't buy 10 pounds of potatoes because, you know, I that was a lot of potatoes. But one way to stretch your uh, budget, you know, and eat some pretty cheap uh, meals is, is pasta. That's tonight. A uh, rice. Uh, you've seen two nights of rice meals. Bread. So bread would be uh, for cheap meals. Sandwiches, bread and soup, or um, bread and gravy. Homemade bread and gravy is really, really good. So what I do with this is I just add the milk until I get it as thick as I want, and then it stops thickening. And so today I was able to get this um, tuna for 99 cents again, so I bought two. Um, I bought these before, and I think I ate one out of the package in my car. Bachelors are for the birds. But that's okay. Uh, if you're having a hard time, uh, you can take the pan off the heat. Or if it's going slow, you can turn the heat up. So this is one of the shirts I bought yesterday. This shirt was $2. I bought two uh, $2 shirts and one $3 shirt. And so the, the $3 shirt, uh, I think was a $5.99 shirt and I had, or something. And anyway, I had a coupon. So I got that for $3 and two shirts. So three shirts is enough shirts for, uh, three months. So figure one shirt a month and then two, uh, jeans. And I discovered if you want to look thinner, you immediately get high waisted jeans, not the low riders. I thought, wow, anybody knows that. And I was going around and my belly was hanging out. I go, wow, anybody knows that. Well, I know it now and now you know it. So um, that is the trick. If uh, I can buy pretty decent stuff at the thrift store. Uh, sometimes I get stuff that is not too great. 
But if it's up for my own personal use, I just wear it. And then when I'm done, I sell it for a dollar at the thrift store, at the swap meet. Uh, last night, I was doing a lot of housework. It was very unpleasant. Okay, so now let's, I'll show you the, uh, wow, well, don't tell me I didn't bring scissors. And then these are always so darn hard to get into as well. But at least you know your tuna isn't going to be stale. So this is good tuna, and it's altogether different than the cheap stuff. Uh, since it's going to be tuna casserole, I just, it's wild tuna with jalapeno and cumin. I go, wow, that's how, that I didn't notice the jalapeno and the cumin the first time I, I bought it, or I probably wouldn't have. Now I gotta break this tuna up without wrecking my pan. I think this is kind of ultimately why I don't care. You know, I get fed up with this stuff. But you know, it's so much easier to cook in a Teflon pan, except for the Teflon, uh, except for the Teflon spatulas. Uh, this smells good. So normally I would make, um, I would put peas in this. But um, today I went to my son's house and I took uh, three uh, cauliflowers. And so they were kind of small and I thought, you know, I would give them two and I would take one and I bought bananas you know, I, one of the things that's going to save you money more than anything is if you can find the produce uh, marked down. So, you know, I buy it at 99 cent only for a dollar. So my daughter-in-law steamed it. I guess they were going to have it for dinner. And so then I got some all steamed. And I put it in this little baking dish. And then I had some white cheese and I had some panko breadcrumbs. Okay, here it is. This could be broccoli, it could be anything. So I want to make a mention about the uh, breadcrumbs. Okay, what I think we're going to be seeing is increases in meat of all kinds. Um, I'm trying not to be selfish and buy it all like this tuna. Uh, this tuna is about $5 a package, so I just bought two. And so then I have some good uh, pasta. So I'll, I put about a third of a third of a, uh, you can put cheese in this. But I have cheese on my, uh, this looks good. I could put peas in this, but I have the cauliflower. So I just want to cut, cook this down for a minute. Get all the, the pasta. So what I did, and it was a good thing I did it too, because lately they haven't had any. I bought good pasta when I could find it for a dollar a package, because I thought to myself, not thinking, oh, there's probably going to be a flour shortage. No, that is not what I was thinking. Oh, there's probably going to be a, a fertilizer shortage. No, that was not what I was thinking. I was just thinking, if... I ever have to eat this stuff, the pasta, the good stuff at that time was not significantly more, it wasn't more expensive. So, you know, I'll buy the, the um, better quality pasta just in case I ever have to eat this. Well, anytime I'm eating it, I'm having to eat it. So I got the cauliflower, three heads for 25 cents. Um, 25 cents a pound. I bought my daughter-in-law for the baby of my daughter-in-law, and they already had bananas too, a bunch of bananas. And then I bought a, a bag of onions, and my daughter-in-law said the onions were really no good, and she trashed them. So that's one of the pitfalls of uh, marked down shopping. You gotta watch what you're doing. 
So, uh, but it was still a really good deal, and I'm really glad I bought this uh, cauliflower. So, okay, so for saving money, uh, pasta, rice, potatoes, and bread. But then, uh, you know, when you've had enough, then you can go to some chicken. I want to mention the Walmart chicken. I think they still have the chicken, a five-pound bag for $5.00. So uh, maybe, now last month, uh, that chicken I made last night with panko breadcrumbs was the $5 chicken. It's not as good as organic chicken, not even, but it'll do depending, you know, if you're, if you really can't handle uh, the cheap chicken, then I wouldn't buy it even for eating in an emergency but I was eating it just fine. I want to show you something. Okay, here is, look how small the panko breadcrumbs are, and these are 99 cents now, so what I expect them to do is raise the price, and there was surprises, there was bad surprises that the German, in Germany, the people woke up to an, uh, 25, uh, percent to 50 percent food increase so I don't know if that would ever happen here uh, maybe but I think you know uh, instead of stocking up uh, you know in a big way on paper goods right now salt and pepper so it's all ready to go uh, I broke this when I opened it, and now I'm gonna have this like pound of, a uh, pound of, of salt is gonna be a pain in my, you know what, the whole time I've gotta use it. Okay, so here it is. Homemade tuna casserole. And this is pretty good tuna casserole, and then, um, Mark down a uh, cauliflower with white cheese. I don't know what kind it was. So then I got something else really good for dinner. And what I got was uh, at my son's house, my daughter-in-law grew this. This is chamomile tea. See it? I go, you cook it with everything. So what I did is I just brought the water to a uh, simmer and I just simmered it for a while. So there's always, probably you could efficiently put this in, but uh, I am just going to pour it into my uh, teapot. Not the, I think a couple flowers went down. So here's the, the rest of it. See how there's not, yeah, there's a couple flowers in there. Whoops, but I anticipated that that might happen. So what I did was I brought my little screen with me so I can pour my tea into my cup without, I don't know if it's gonna catch anything, but it's gonna taste so much better without the little flowers. And she also sent me a nice little batch of, of mint. And that grows good in my backyard. I'm going to plant some chamomile tea, too. All right, so here it is. And so this is the kind of tea that is really good with sugar. Quite a bit. Mint's good with sugar, too. Here's my new um, sugar bowl that I already cracked, but I'll just use it. No sell. Well, I could sell it for a quarter, but why bother? You might as well just use it. Well, when the time comes, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to sit. Now, I mean, we don't know how bad this um, recession might get. So you heard the interest rate is going up. When the interest rate goes up, usually the prices go down. So that's not good for homeowners. It is so good when you get the fresh uh, chamomile. Too bad I kind of wrecked my napkin. That doesn't look so great. Okay, so also if you notice in the back, 
I, I, they don't look too good from the outside, but these are some oranges that I bought marked down. Uh, 25 cents a pound. Okay, so now let's have a little bowl of, of this macaroni and uh, tuna casserole. So I reduced the, um, I reduced the amount of pasta a little bit. I usually make uh, one and a half cups, but I thought why create a lot of leftovers? Just cook how much you need and then call it good. So I have enough left for lunch tomorrow. That messed me up yesterday when I had all those leftovers. So here is my cauliflower. So let's just, oh, this looks good. So here you have it. Okay, life is good. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, momentarily annoying. This candle, candle holder has been nice, it's copper. Okay, now let me taste this. So you have tuna in your stockpile, you have milk in your stockpile. Today I bought two, uh, I went to grocery outlet and I bought two butters, one's in the freezer. That's not something you wanna run out of. And uh, here's the white cheese I had in the freezer. I think this is mozzarella, I'm not sure. I mean, who knows when I bought it? I don't remember. Okay, let me taste these. I know the cauliflowers were good. Uh, it was like the oranges. Just happened to be a good deal this time, so here we have it. So if you get the you get the marked down vegetables, you know, you just have to cook them up. That is good. If you have green beans and bacon, you can make some awesome green beans. Broccoli and cheese. Um, steamed, steamed vegetables is good. The good tuna makes all the difference. That's good. So I bought two of these at a um, grocery outlet. Here they are. Okay, so today I went to Walmart, so I will continue to stockpile uh, food. So uh, in anticipation of something with the chickens, I bought six cans of chicken. And you can eat these right out of the can. It's so disturbing, there was this young girl, I didn't have any cash on me, and I said, would you like a a can of tuna and she said no do you have a dollar and I didn't have any uh, cash on me and I said you could eat it later and she said no and I thought oh my goodness so I bought two cans or two packages of tuna and then I bought spices what I see is the spices are small and they look like they're diluted so I bought uh, one thing that would be bad to run out of would be chili pepper. And I bought uh, granulated garlic. And these are uh, bay leaves. At one point, there were no bay leaves. Uh, cumin and paprika. So uh, when I see stuff that I think I might. And so let's see. The spices were, I think it were 99 cents. Uh, grocery outlet, I found the eggs for $3.49, and I saw organic eggs, you know, the flats for $16.99, and I bought two uh, butters for $1.99. Okay, um, so, you know, you're eating cheap food, high-carb food, basically, and then in your freezer every third day or second day, you can get some chicken, or um, I make this the same way with pork sausage. I fry the pork sausage and make gravy with noodles. Um, 
And then on the odd day, or you know, a sandwich is a great meal with some soup or some chips. Um, I'm still buying stuff by the case. I bought a case of barbecue potato chips and a case of sun chips. Okay, so then, uh, so I went back to my list here and I thought, well, okay, there's a shortage of cinnamon rolls at Costco. Well, what they're doing is, I thought, why in the heck, I did stockpile cinnamon the other day too, is there a, a, a shortage of cinnamon rolls? Actually, I did buy some really good cinnamon rolls today and I can't show you because I ate them. But um, because of the flour, the butter, and the sugar, I'd say. They're saving that, you know, they're telling us what to eat. Hey, there's not enough flour, so you guys are gonna have to do without cinnamon rolls. So I did buy some cinnamon rolls, and then I, I had a list, so I decided to look on the list and say, well, what might I wanna buy? And I would say uh, meat, cheese, milk, and butter because that's likely to become very, very expensive. Spices, and another thing is cream cheese. So why not just buy like no cinnamon rolls with your coffee in the morning and no bagels and cream cheese because the powers to be have decided that there's not gonna be any cream cheese because cream cheese are dairy. So if you eat bagels, I would stock up on cream cheese. Uh, yogurt you can make if you have milk. So uh, that's, I don't know what I'm going to get tomorrow. So, okay. Uh, okay, and then butter and eggs. I had this list yesterday. Uh, cream cheese, flour, sugar, water is something. Almonds. If people, uh, there was uh, an issue with the almond crop, I think. Uh, bread crumbs. I'll be stocking up on some of those. You know, when I see something that's likely to go um, short on us. So uh, I don't want to spend much money though. So last, the last few months I've stockpiled clothes. Um, the one thing I haven't stockpiled is a lot of Diet Coke and water, but I will because they already you're seeing the dollar Coke is up towards $2, even for the individual size. So that is a 100% increase. You know, oh, those poor Germans. Well, how about us old poor Americans? $16 for a flat of organic eggs? Uh, I was doing good finding medium eggs for $3.50. And then, you know, I gotta get the bird food so that, you know, it's already $15 a bag. That's not the danger, no bird food. So uh, be thinking, okay, am I likely to be caught with no clothes? Am I be, uh, what I usually do is I buy new jeans and shoes, but the rest I can buy pretty much used. So that's what's going on. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.